I gotta be 100% honest with you guys, I didn't see this coming. I mean, when two years ago Lava sent me their very first guitar, the Lava ME2, I was in love with the thing. It really blew my mind. A tiny, small carbon fiber guitar with a pickup that allows you to add effects such as chorus, delay, and reverb without using external gear. Fast forward to today and the Lava ME3 takes it to a whole new level replacing the knobs with a 3.5 inch multi-touch screen and a built-in system that allows you to add and customize effects, practice and improve your skills, chord changes and ear training, and record, store and share your music through the Lava app and the Lava Cloud. You can do all this without using one single cable. And of course, last but not least, this guitar has its own charging dock. Now let's switch on the guitar. I have a camera right here, so you're gonna see me looking at this thing quite a lot. And we can switch on the camera by clicking the on button. And we can actually feel that the pickup is switching on. It kind of moves a little bit. Now this is pretty much phone-like experience. Um, it's multi-touch screen, you can scroll up and down. This is kind of a quick menu. Now you can swipe up and you open up the menu. Of course we have the usual stuff, we have a tuner, we can click on it and tune the guitar. We can swipe up to close it. Of course we have a metronome as well, very easy to use, you can click on it. And of course you can hear the metronome through the guitar, I'm not plugged in. We also have a recorder, so let's say that we are practicing and we come up with something that we like, we can record it on the go. We can click on the app, open it, and then click on record, and we can start recording. Now we're done. Press stop, and we can actually listen to the thing. So this guitar has Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, and of course we're gonna use the Wi-Fi to connect the guitar to the Lava app and the Lava Cloud. So everything that we record with this guitar will be saved on the Lava Cloud. We can also share all the things that we record, we can share our music on the Lava app. Now I really like the bottom three tools that are super helpful. We got effects, we got practice, and something called loops, which allows you to basically um, record loops. Now effects is pretty awesome, we have a lot of different effects and we can add these effects on the go, for example I can select a reverb and I'm gonna choose this one which is my favorite and now it's active which means it's gonna be added to the guitar without the use of a pedal or a PA or a plug-in. Of course, we can decide how much volume we want to give to these effects. There is a volume knob right here, and we can use it to add more volume. The lava through it, we can actually customize all these effects. So let's say that I like this reverb, but I want to change something. I can click on the plus button. Let me see if you actually see this. And I can add this effect to a template. Now I already have a bunch of templates. I was messing around with the guitar. So we can create a new template, which is template number eight and confirm. And if we go uh, to template here, we can scroll down to number eight. And if we click on the reverb, we can actually check all the settings. We got DK, mix, low, cut, and high cut. And we can decide to add more or less reverb. For example, we can go to 97. 
which is pretty cool. The templates are also saved on the Lava Cloud. So you're never gonna lose them, you're always gonna find them inside the templates. And we can also add more effects. So I'm just going to deactivate this effect. We can go back to effects and let's say we wanna play around with a delay. Let's just select the first one. Now we have delay. It's pretty intense. And again, I can decide to customize this so I can press the plus button right here and I can save it in the same template, the number eight. So now I have two effects, number eight, and I can customize, for example, I can go here and decide that, you know, I can have the dotted notes and a little bit more of this. A little less chorus and a little less mix. Now another feature that I love is called loops, which basically allows you to create loops on the go. So you can actually add a drum bit to the loop and you don't have to create one. It's already built in the system. And let's say that we got this Go Lucky. We already have the drum bit, which is playing through the guitar and we can use it. And once we decide to use it, we can also customize it. So way too fast so 96 eight bars for four times signature we press start and now we can start the uh, loop and there are a few options on the top for example you got the metronome you can decide to have a count in uh, one or two bars you can do the continuous recording so as soon as the loop is closed it will keep recording but we're gonna keep it like this let's just record eight bars of music. So now we have it. We got our eight bars. And of course, we can start playing around with these chords. And guys, we can decide to, you know, reduce the volume as well. It doesn't have to be super loud. I love this feature. Love it. Super powerful, super intuitive, easy to use. Most importantly, it's just an awesome feature that allows you to play, practice, and improve. And speaking about practice, we also have this um, tool called Practice, which basically allows you to practice scales, chord changes, and the app will basically listen to what you play and tell you if you're doing right or wrong. Now, I do think that it still needs a little bit of work, and I'll tell you why. 
uh, let's say that we decide to practice this chord progression, C, D, E major and F major. We can press start and now every time we play the chord correctly, we will move on to the next chord. So if I have to play a C major and I play a C minor chord, the app will tell me, you know, you can't, you can't go ahead, buddy. Now, if I play a C major chord correctly, I can go ahead and play um, the next chord. Now, we have to play a D major. So if I play a D major chord, it will be correct. But also if I play the D, the app will tell me that I play the right chord, especially the root note. So for example, right now we have to play E. If I play E, it will tell me that I play the right thing. Now, if I have to play F, and let's say I play the note A, which is the third of the chord, I'm playing the wrong note. If I play the F major, it's absolutely fine. I'm good with this. You can practice strumming, skill training, ear training. Uh, I mean, skill training is pretty cool. I didn't have time to go through all the features, but this one is cool. It shows you basically the scale. So this is a C major scale, and it will pick up the notes that you play. But we're gonna start. And we can play with the metronome as well. And we can press start. So play the notes on the fretboard with the metronome. So what happens if I play C sharp? It's really powerful, but overall, I love it. So I hope that you find this video helpful. Let me know in the comment section down below if you like this guitar, if you think that it's too much to have a 3.5 inch screen, if you think it's awesome. I think it's great to have all these features. And the most important thing is the fact that you can really decide which feature work for you. So, you know, like you don't necessarily have to use all of them all the time. Of course, we still have our lovely, beautiful, you know, wood guitars, absolutely. And I'm really happy that I have all those, but this is a different concept. So if you're thinking about getting one of these guitars, especially like a carbon fiber, and if you get Lava ME3, do your research. And most importantly, don't approach this guitar thinking that it's gonna give you the same sound, the same playability, and you know, the same uh, feel as a wood guitar. It's a different concept, it's unique. And so just keep an open mind. It's an awesome guitar. I love it. Uh, you're gonna love yours too. Let me know if you like the video and I'll see you next time.